I want to take a moment to thank the viewers, so the subscribers, but more than that, I want to thank the people that are actively contributing to this channel in various ways. There are people that help me in certain ways. There are people that donate to the channel through Patreon, through GoFundMe. There's even people that just give moral support or information via email. And doing this going on three years and over 300 videos, you get to a point where do you just want to do this anymore? And I have to tell you that the support that I get these days is what drives me. It gives me a desire to want to give information that you're asking for. It gives me a desire to want to get out and show things that you wouldn't normally see, clue you in on things that might take a long time for you to discover, discover otherwise. So I have to thank you for all the help, advice, ideas, contributions that you give to this channel. There's more and more support for this channel in various ways, and it's become a very fulfilling, I guess you would say hobby, but to me it's become more than that. It's actually given me another purpose to my life. So thank you all, and please keep everything coming. Now many of you haven't been through my videos one by one. If you haven't, you really should. Even the terrible ones. I mean, there's been a progression. They do get better, but some of the early videos, the sound especially, was just horrendous. But there was good information in those. But what you may not know is that I'm not just arriving here in Armenia or just, a, you know, showed up in Ecuador. My life for a good portion of it was travel. I've been to 20 different countries outside of the United States. I've lived in three countries outside of the United States for more than a year. I lived in Japan for over three years. I lived in Ecuador for three years. Through a couple different times, I've lived in Colombia for just over a year. I've traveled around Europe. I've traveled around Asia. I've been to Australia. I've got a good sense of what the world is about. I understand what people are. And I'll tell you that people, for the most part, are good, honest people everywhere on this planet. You have your percentage of issues, and that goes to any country. Whatever country you're from, you have your percentage. You know, back in the Marine Corps, we used to call them the 10 percenters. 10% of any group or any population basically are going to be problems. They're going to be dirtbags, scumbags, thieves. You get that anywhere. People in general, vast majority, are wonderful people. For me, one of the reasons I live in Colombia is because of how people are and their attitudes and their culture. Maybe the nicest I've run into on this planet is here in Colombia, and I love that. But there are many wonderful places, upstate New York, amazing people. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown that my videos are not just me showing up today and you know throwing something out without thought. When I make these videos, in most cases, I have local friends that I will talk to, discuss what I plan on saying, see if they have any insight, maybe they think I'm off base. I'll use that to temper. Most things I actually do some research for because I don't want to give you bad information. Having said that, what my videos are, is my experience, it's not your experience. Your experience might be different. So sometimes someone will watch a video and think, well, you're crazy because I went to such and such and it was completely different. Well, that's true. And on any given day, something can be different. So I give you my experience, but I do temper that with valid information from people that should know, people that do live here. So I don't just ask one person. Yeah, here in Armenia, I now have a circle of friends that number about 12 people. Pretty good for a month, particularly as selective as I am. 
For years, I've had four people here in Armenia that have been good friends to me. And so asking questions helps validate what I feel that I know about something. In Cuenca or in Ecuador, I did the same thing. When I did the video on prejudice, almost all of that came from my friend Maria and a few other friends that have lived there their entire life. And uh, as a matter of fact, on the prejudice uh, video, she took me down to uh, the park and we sat there and she pointed out things that I had never noticed before. People's attitudes, people that are in the upper crust because it's a stratus driven uh, culture there. People in the upper crust, the type of clothes, the type of shoes that they would wear, the way they talk has a different sound to it. And the way they would treat other people, and, and I've seen that in restaurants where you have these people that just think they're, and I'm not talking about gringos, I'm talking about Ecuadorians. They just think they're better than everybody else. And then you have the, we'll say the poor stratus, you know, the low level, low income stratus, who feel that they deserve that kind of treatment because they feel that the people that have more money are more important and deserve that kind of reverence and servitude. Personally, I find it disgusting, but she taught me that. She pointed out, we saw examples. Once, I, once she pointed out things that just, I, I never noticed before, it became glaringly apparent and I saw it everywhere. <laughs> I kind of wish I didn't know because it, it just applied this template uh, to the country that changed my feelings about the place. So I didn't throw that video together on a whim based on one or two experiences. I took my sense of it, which had to do with uh, racial prejudice initially, that was expanded by information she gave me about the social economic prejudice that also goes on. And so um, I did the video and the most comments I got were actually from Ecuadorians who said, right on, you're exactly right. This is something people don't talk about, but thank you for doing it. Now, I did have some gringos tell me that I'm crazy. Yeah, but see, they're the gringos that don't know that isolate themselves and they don't want to see. I didn't see all of it, I do now, but you, you have to get out and you have to talk to people and not just one person because like anywhere, you're gonna find different opinions among people that live in the same place. Uh, but I would do that and I would question that. So these videos come from a place where I am truly driven to give you valid information, but it's always tempered by the fact that it's my experience and what you experience might be different. So get out and make your own experience. Okay, thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you soon.